Located in the Sadak region of Africa, Angola possesses innumerable natural resources that places it among the wealthiest countries on the continent. Beyond the diversity of its fauna and flora, this country of the future, bathed in the Atlantic Ocean, has a coastal zone that extends for 1,650 kilometers. The economic growth that the country has registered in the recent years effectively places Angola as an emergent power especially in the maritime zone, where lies the opportunity to develop projects that promote the required and pursue diversification of the economy. Famar PSC Limited, a wholly Angolan-owned company, has since 2013 invested significantly in the prospect of creating an internationally recognized shipyard to specifically provide dry docking and in-water repair solutions to all marine floating assets in Angola and the west coast of Africa. This venture will attract high sums of foreign currency into the country, since most of its envisaged clientele will be international. It will greatly contribute to the development of the overall economy of Angola by supporting key sectors such as the oil and gas and fishing industries, as well as the maritime commercial trade. The resolution to proceed with this venture arose from the need in Angola and West Africa for repair facilities that can assist the maritime industry. The existing facilities on the west coast of Africa are not equipped to service all types and sizes of vessels and marine assets, resulting in vessel owners seeking the required support outside the continent. The success of this project greatly depends on flow of people and goods via adequate immigration and customs facilities and foreign currency considerations. To this end, apart from worldwide renowned experts for technical and financial support being involved in the creation of this project, FAMAR has also been developing synergies with a vast number of stakeholders in close cooperation with the state, financial institutions, national and international service providers and regulators. The identified site for the creation of a shipyard is on the northwest side of Bayafarta Bay in the province of Benguela, which is well known for being an important fishing center. Famar has already secured a 3.5 hectare piece of waterfront property and an environmental impact assessment, or EIA, has been completed and approved. Several extensive studies were performed by technical partners confirming the ideal and unique qualities of the site to establish a shipyard. A well-sheltered deep water natural port, an arid climate, and privileged geostrategic positioning in sub-Saharan Africa. Utilizing proven engineering, the technical team was able to make use of the ideal conditions of this natural deep water port, enabling the construction and operation of the shipyard to have minimal environmental impact as well as reduced establishment and operational costs, making this prospect financially attractive for investors. Making use of the unique water depths, the shipyard will have a Panamax and a Suez Max dry docks with lengths of 200 and 300 meters respectively. It will also have over 1,000 meter water berths, allowing for all types of vessels and marine assets operating in Angola and the region to be serviced in national territory. In addition to these unique characteristics, the region of Benguela is well serviced in terms of infrastructure, with the port of Lobito, the international airport of Catumbela, railways, well-maintained roads connecting Angola to its southern, well-industrialized neighbors, a developed industrial environment, and diversity of services. An Angolan entrepreneur with a common drive for the development and sustainability of the country is the initiator and sponsor of the project. He is naturally aligned with state vision. The National Development Plan 2018-2022, which emphasizes the need for the development of the ship repair industry, with specific attention given to the development of the municipality of Bayafarta and support services for its fishing community. Being a secondary industry that mainly entails transformation, this shipyard will create over 650 direct permanent jobs for Angolan professionals. This complex and diverse industry will also attract into its dedicated premises numerous national and international stakeholders, 
that will enhance job creation and development for this region. The perceived and associated social economic impact of this project has been tangibly witnessed in several other West African countries. The areas foreseen that most positively influence this region are education, skills and competencies development, empowerment of local citizens and general upliftment of basic living conditions.